Uh, as you know, I'm, I'm with you guys every single day, and I've been a member of the fire department for four year, over four years now. And when I'm not here, I'm either at the fire station, and as many know, I have a job too. But that's all on the side. Uh, firefighting is a very physical challenge. Uh, it's exhausting all the time. Nothing we do is easy, and it never, it always is harder every time. Uh, firefighting can be compared to sports. It doesn't mean you have to play sports to be in a fire department. I don't play sports, but I'm in the fire department, and you have to stay physically fit and train constantly. We train all the time to do this. We spend a great deal of time with the training. April 10th, Somerset acquired a house, and we took one in and did just dry runs on the house all day, just mock run-ins of fires all day. Uh, as I said, it could, it's exhausting. Put, you put on 50 pounds of gear that, sitting over there, grab a couple tools and some hose, and drag it into a house, and you're in the fire's heat. It's not easy. And we're ready all the time. It could be 3 in the morning, jump out of bed. As soon as, you know, I've left school before for fires. You got, you, I'm sure many of you have seen me running down the hall to get out of here. It's stress exertion and other medical related issues which usually result in heart attacks and other sudden cardiac events. That, it causes the most firefighter deaths of anything. Not many firefighters are killed with the fighting the actual fire. It's more because of the stress and the exertion that they're putting out. That's, and there's NFPA regulation. It's the national governing body of the fire department. There's, they have regulations on fitness standards for just the fire service. We train to be able to use the, air, the SCBAs, which is the air pack sitting there on the table there. The Jaws Life, the extrication tools for cars, uh, search and rescue equipment, carrying and lifting tools and ladders, pulling equipment or pulling hose off of trucks, and using the hand tools.